Hi, this is Pandora for TGN TV, and today I'm going to take you through the well-read achievement. There are 42 books within this achievement, and it is very long, so do bear with me, but we will get to all 42. And a lot of them are in the same place, so it's not so bad, but there is a lot of running around involved, so be warned and be prepared. Okay, so here we are in Scarlet Monastery. I have already cleared the dungeon, and I'll give you a quick rundown of the 13 books, yes, 13 that you will find in this one dungeon. I'm currently standing in the last boss's chamber room and here there are three books and they are all three are situated on tables. In this room here there's no books in here so don't let that fool you and then we have like a library very long room here and there's a book on the table just here another one on the table just here and a third one on the table here as well and there is like a little kind of cubby hole just behind the door where there's a book here and I will show you where they are just in a moment and in these two rooms here there's one here and another one here and this one there's one here and another one there they're not trying to make it hard for you to find them guys so don't worry and just here there's another one in here and one more in the gallery of treasures so let's make our way back through the dungeon and I'll show you where they are so here we have the ice crown and the frozen throne and throne throne sorry uh, that's number 26 in our list. Then we have number 27, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce. It's the forming of the scourge, scourge, or however you'd like to pronounce it. And the third one in here, we have the Civil War of the Plaguelands, which is book four on our list. So let's head through to here. As I said before, there are no books in this room here. This is just where some of the trash are. And then we go on to here, and then we're greeted with a book on the table here. We have the Scourge, and that is book number 38, and then we have another one on the table just here, Beyond the Dark Portal, which is book number 3 in our sequence of books, and then we have another one here, The War of the Ancients, which is book 40, so they're in no linear order whatsoever, and here's the little secret one I was telling you about, it's very easy to kind of miss it, because it's just on the floor. And it's not something you're kind of looking for, you know. But here we go, there's one here. And that is Archimonds, yes, <laughs> an interesting name, return on the flight uh, to Kalimandor. And as you can see, the name's kind of off the end there. But that is book number 23 in our sequence. And then, where's the other one? There it is. Just hiding around the corner here. See, and we're here. It's there. And we have uh, the Troll Wars. And I do believe... That is, oh, I think I've forgotten. Sorry. That is book number two, so that's again is quite half on the list. And we have the other one here The World Tree and the Emerald Dream, which is book number 20. And that's just the two books that are in here, there are no others. And there's two more in this room as well. One in the corner here War of the Spider, which is a book number 41, that's quite close to the bottom of the list. So. Yeah, I mean this dungeon is only a level 30 dungeon. Well, I think I think it's 30. So the mobs in here should be fairly easy if you're level 50 or above or so. Here we have Aftermath of the Second War, which is book number 22. And to actually get the re recognition for the for the achievement, you don't have to read through the entire book. You can just open the book. So like I've been doing, but you can scroll through them if you actually want to read them. I've already read these, so I'm just quickly opening them to show you how to do it. Here we have War of the Three Hammers, which is book 21. And then the last but not least, book number one in the in the entire sequence, which is another name I cannot pronounce unfortunately, um, and it's uh, And the Dragon Hunt, and this is book number one. So this is why I started off in Scarlet Monastery. So that is it, that is all 13 books in here. And, uh, I mean, you should be able to solo this about level 50, 60, if you're a pally or DK. If you're a mage, you might want to wait a bit longer, or maybe get a couple of friends to help you out. But it is very simple, and uh, there are so many in here, it's totally worthwhile. Also, if you're doing a random dungeon, it might be worth just kind of running around and picking them up. That's the, probably the easiest way of doing it. That's how I've done it on all of my alts. So uh, let's move on to the next set of uh, books and see how we go. Okay, so here we are, folks, in Sholomance. Now this is located in the Western Playgrounds, just to the right of Undercity, so it's very easy to get to. We are currently in the Reliquily, 
I can't even say that, God, I am utterly bad with my pronunciation. And uh, there are nine books in this room, it's quite a large room as you can see, I've already cleared it to make things a bit easier. Now there are a few duplicate books around, uh, quite a few of the ones you'll see in a minute we've actually already seen in Scarlet Monastery, however it's always good to note where they are as, uh, well you never know, you may have missed one. So here we go, we have The Seven Kingdoms, which is book number 39. We haven't seen this one before. And then we go over here, where we have The War of the Spider, which we have already seen before, and again that's book number 41. But it's always good to know where the other ones are if you couldn't find the other one. And again another duplicate, Ice Crown of the Frozen and the, sorry, and the Frozen Throne. That's book number twenty six. We go over again, is it here? No, it's just up here, sorry, it's on the ledge. Uh the Dark Portal and the Fall of Stormwind. This is a new one and this is book number thirteen. And then we have hmm, I think is it down here? Yeah it's here. Sagara Sagaras and the Betrayal which uh, I only must have missed. There we go. Just flick through here. And that is book number 10 in our list. Is there any here? Nope, there's none there. None there. But we have one here, The Scourge of Lordaeron. This is the one we've already seen. It's book number 38. I don't think there are any down here. No, there's not. What have we got? We have two here though. We do have two here. I think one we've already seen. Yep, we've already seen the Kalthazad book. That is number 27, but we haven't seen this one. This is The Birth of the Lich King, and that is book number 33, and that is one we definitely need. And we have one more, The Lich King Triumphant, which is book number 16. Now, I have a slight problem with this, right? You have The Birth of the Lich King, which on the list is book number 33, and then you have The Lich King Triumphant. How can he be triumphant after he's born? Because surely 16 comes before 33. I don't know how they do this, and I don't know if the list is actually in like any kind of order, but that doesn't seem too right to me. But anyway, this is all the nine books in the Reliquary. I don't know if there's more in Solomons. We shall go and take a look, but considering there are nine, I figured we'd do a small segment on it, and if there's any more, I'll do another one in a minute. Okay, so let's go see what we can find. Now, there's no book here. I just wanted to open the gate and record the sound, because I think these are pretty cool gates. I don't know if the entire room's going to pull if I do this, but just have a quick listen. Isn't that some kind of horror movie shit going on right there? That is pretty cool. So, um, I don't know if there's any more books in here. Quick look around says probably not. But as I'm recording, I might as well check it out. I don't think there is. There isn't. So yeah, that gate, that's just a pretty cool gate. I may put it in, I may not. Let's see. Okay, so we're still in Sholomance. This time we're in the Chamber of Summoning. We're a bit further along and there are four books within here. So let's see what we have. We have The Old Gods and the Ordering of Azeroth, which is book number 17 in our sequence. And then there's like nothing for a little while. I mean, there was quite a few mobs in here, but again, I killed them before because that just makes it a hell of a lot easier. But I can never remember where the books actually are, even though I've just found them 30 seconds before. Which is quite annoying, as you can probably imagine. But here we have... there we go, there's one there. We have Old Hatreds. And, uh, yeah. And that one is number 29 of our little sequence. And then there's another one here, which is... I can't even pronounce that. Uh, blah 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 of the Shadow Pact. So we have book number 7 in our sequence. And there's another one here, just the red cover one. Rise of the Blood Elves. Get that a quick click through. And that is book number five. And I do believe that's all of them. I have had a quick scan around. So that is the next slot. We're just here. Just around this room here. It's fairly simple to find. There is a boss somewhere, I think. Maybe that, that room? I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, that is the next four books. That makes a grand total of 13 books so far in this dungeon and let's see what others we can find. Okay, we're still in Sholomance, but instead of being in this room we're now in this room which is down a couple of stairs and there's a book where I'm standing now and one over here. We have... where'd it go? There it is, over there. We have Exile of the High Elves this time which is book number five. Let's have a quick flick through this. And then just over here which is a... Uh, <laughs> Let's jump around. We have uh, the Invasion of Draenor. So click 
Africa and that is book number 35. So we're now currently up to book 15 in the dungeon of Sholomance. Is Sholomance? Yeah, sorry. Always forgetting. And uh, yeah, let's see if there's any more. I'm not quite sure. I think we're coming to the end of this dungeon now. Uh, if we are, I'll move on to somewhere else. If not, then you'll see more from this dungeon. Okay. Okay. We're just in the view room, just here, we were here, and now we've just gone through here and I found one singular book. We have The Founding of Quelthares, which is book number 31 in our list. It's just here, it's just one more. So we're now up to 16 books in Sholomance. Uh, let's see if we can find some more. Okay, so here we are at the end room of Sholomance, and uh, there are no more books. So we have a grand total of 17 books which is quite a lot, that's actually a lot more than we had in Scarlet Monastery and I just got the achievement as you can see there because apparently I haven't done it on my Druid before but uh, a few things I wanted to point out is uh, this dungeon is about a level 40 plus dungeon so if you want to clear it on your own maybe about level maybe 60, 65, possibly 70 would be best to do this uh, the mobs are fairly simple but they are in quite a big group so you might want to bring a friend or whatever but obviously the best way of doing it is to just go through the dungeon finder and then pick up the books as you go along explain, explain to people what you're doing obviously so this is the Sholomance part of our tutorial over and uh, let's move on and see what we're missing actually uh, let's have a quick look at how our progress is so before we only had four and since I've done two dungeons and that's only two we are basically over halfway there now so uh, let's get a cracking Okay, so we're in kind of a unexpected place at the moment. If you look, we are just underneath Thunder Bluff, which is not that far away from the Torridon starting place. We are currently in Beldon Dig Site, which is just here. So yeah, take a good look at the map, and then you know where we are. We have three books here, in a quite bizarre area, just surrounded by little earth spirits. And we have Ironforge, The Awakening of the Dwarves. This was originally just in Ironforge it's on its own, and then I do believe since the patch you've been able to get it here. I'm not entirely sure about that, so if I'm wrong, do correct me. And uh, this is number six in our list, and it's uh, quite a good one to grab. Otherwise you'd have to go into the Alliance Villages, which could end badly. We have another duplicate here, War of the Hammers, our number 21 book. This is uh, the third one we've seen of this now, so it must be pretty common, pretty popular. And the uh, third one we have here is the Battle of Grim Batol, which is uh, book number 32. And this again is one I do believe that you'd only find in Ironforge. I'm not quite sure, don't quote me on that. But there we go, we have three other books which we need, and we are just here, just at the dig site. So it's very, very easy, very accessible. Even the Alliance could get here if they wanted to, which is always a plus for those who are Alliance. I am Horde, so a lot of the things I will be doing will be for the Horde side, because I do not have an Alliance capped character. I do have a 45 Mage, but that's about it, and I don't really pay, play her that often. I just really wanted to try out the Worgen starting area. Um, so yeah, those are another three books. Let's go see if we can find some more. Okay, so we're here in Tanaris, in the town of Gazatan. And if you look, we have the flight point trainer there, and this is the inn you need to go to. All the buildings kind of look quite similar, so I just wanted to point it out exactly where you have to go, especially as the inn has moved since the cataclysm. Here we have three books. We have Wrath of the Soul Flayer, which is our book 42 of the list, which is the last book on the list. However, we've not found them all yet, and we have uh, The Emperor's Fall here, which is book 25. Click through that one. And uh, The Twin Empires click through that one just there and uh, let's see how we're doing I mean, we've got about 10 left 12 left to find these are very much scattered around the world we're gonna have to go quite far to get them but hopefully we can do it and hopefully it won't take too long as uh, I'm sure you're getting a bit sick of this now it is a very long achievement but it is a pretty cool one so yeah it's always good to have just hanging around you know for those people who are the real die-hard achievement whores and uh, yeah Let's see how we can do this. So we're now in the Caverns of Time. We were in Gazatan, we're now here, we're still in Tanaris. And you really want to use your flying mount here, otherwise you could miss it, because otherwise you go straight past it, you don't really see it, and it is just a hole in the wall. So let's go in and see what we can find. 
and we have the book just here, The Caldery and the Well of Eternity. This is book number 15, and I don't know where else this book is. I did have a quick look. If you do know where there are other copies, please leave a comment, let me know, I'm always interested. And let's go see what else we can find. Okay, so we're currently in Ratchet. We've got the flight point here, and then one of the books is straight up here. Okay, we have Charge of the Dragon Fights, and this is book number 24 in our list. Let's give that a quick read through. There's no others in here at the moment, but there is another one in The Inn. So we do have two books in Ratchet, and I'll just show you where The Inn is. If we fly, here's The Inn, just over there. It's a pretty big building, can't really miss it. We'll just go into the back. I do believe it's at the very back, and there is only one in here again, so we do only have two in this area. So we have My Aunt Hyjal and Illidan's Gift. Now this is book number eight in our list. We've only got a few books left, so let's, give, let's go and see if we can find them. Okay, so we're currently in Booty Bay. I'm standing in a room where there are actually quite a few duplicates to what we've already found. Here we have the Scourge of Lordaeron, which we've already seen. The Twin Empires, Emperor's Fall, and Wrath of the Soul Flayer. And I'm just showing you these in case you've missed them in anywhere else. And then I'll move on to the ones that we haven't seen before. So we go here, it's just here. This is the first book. Just pop into here. And it's just sitting on the bedside table. And it's the Sentinels of the Long Vigil, which is book 18 in our quest. So we'll just go along there. And then the second one which we haven't seen before, if I can get out. Ah, these damn things. So we go through here, in the inn, round the corner, if I can get in, dismount. Dismounting's always good. Torons are big enough as it is. Up the steps, and it's just on the table here, yep. We have Sunwell and the Fall of Quilderis. And this is book number 31. I do believe that's the only two books in here that we haven't seen, as well as the four we already have, and I do believe we've got about six left to find, so let's go find them. Okay, so I'm currently hovering over the Alliance base called Northwatch Hold. Now this is the only place I have found one of the books, and I'm just going to see if I can get in there and make sure it is actually there. Luckily I'm a druid, so I can just change form and go all sneaky. I walk down the steps and hopefully we'll find that either it's on the stairs or it's on the bottom and I think there we go if you if you look there we do have two books we have uh, hmm lengthy of the orcs and the new horde I don't know if there's any more going down the stairs if there's not I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna drop down and then I'm gonna read them as you can see I've already died here trying to get here there's one book there's the other, click through them. Um, oh, I'm still in still in stealth form. That's good, that's always good to know. So yeah, you can just stealth in here and pick them up. So we only have three books left. And let's go see if we can find those. Let's look at the achievement. Oh, sorry, no, we're five books we're missing. Hmm, I thought there was less than that. If you look, lots of green names, very, very good. Let's sneak out of here and go and find the rest. Okay, so who we are in the top room in the in and stoneard so yeah the if you use a portal to get here you just appear just down there just walk up the stairs here we have the new horde and we've seen this one before book 37 but it's here if you haven't already seen it and rise of the horde is book number 30 and this is the only place i know where it can be of course if it is somewhere else leave a comment and let me know and i believe those are the only two books in stoneard have a quick look around but i do believe that is, oh no, hang on, there's one on the table here. What do we have? What do we have? The Dark Portal. I can't remember where we've seen that one before, but I'm fairly certain we've seen it before. And uh, we've only got a few left, so let's go see if we can find them. Okay, so now we are in Thelsmar, in Loch Morden, and we are in the inn, I believe. And we have the Last Guardian book, which is one that we do need. And it is book number 36. It's just there. So if you're a druid or a shaman or whatever, you can kind of sneak your way in here. You don't have to worry about killing anybody. Otherwise, you do alert everyone that you're here. So just kind of sneak back out. And let's go find some more. Okay, here we are in the Wayfarer's Rest Haven with the book The Alliance of Lordaeron. Now, this is book 11 in the list that we have. 
It's quite a big book. I think it says 16 pages. Yep, 16 pages. There is another one in Silvermoon, because we are just here, just to show you on the map. There is another one here. I'm not 100% sure where it is, so let's go try and find it. So I've located the second book in Silvermoon, which is just here. The first one was found in the inn over there, and this one is just in the Arcane Goods shop. And if you want to see on the map, it's just the shop here. And it's in here, to the right, on the very back. I'll just show you where it is. It's a bit of a dark colour, so it's really difficult to see it on the crate if you're just doing a quick sweep. So, uh, yeah, we have the Betrayer Ascendant, and this is book 12 in our list. So now we only have one book left to find, which is in Sholomance or Strathome, one of those. I'm just going to go try and find it now. And then we will finally have completed our long-awaited achievement. Okay, I've just found the last book, and I did just die trying to get it. As you can see, I'm surrounded by alliance enemies and apparently a mage. <laughs> but it's very difficult to kind of get in there, run around, try and find it. So I'm going to resurrect right by where the book is, and then show you where it is. Here we go. So if you look at the rooms, there's three rooms here. Now I can take my time, now I'm dead because they can't attack me. There's my corpse, as you can see. So if you go through to the second room, the book is just here. The, found, yeah, the Founding of Quel'Tharas. This is book 34 and the last book that we need on our massive quest to get the Well Read Achievement, which is... let me find it. I really should have been a bit more prepared. There we go, Well Read. As you can see, it's the last one we need. Let's close that. Let's resurrect. And let's open it. And da ding There we go. And that concludes our very long journey to get the well read achievement. Now let's see if I can get out of here without dying. Thank you guys for watching. Leave any comments and don't forget to thumb me. <coughs>